Numbers 32, a decision is made, a lifestyle is established. That's what's happening. Here in Numbers 32, they finally get to the brink of the Promised Land. They're at the Jordan River. The, the nation of Israel is finally about to cross over into that land which God had promised them and had given them. But there's two tribes, Reuben and Gad, who say, you know what? We like it on this side of the Jordan River. We like the grassy land. We, we like the place where we can raise our cattle. We want to stay here. We don't want to cross over. And there's great concern that these are kind of like those spies who didn't want to go into the land 40 years ago. And so Moses is afraid that they will stay back and discourage the rest of the people and they won't want to enter in either. So listen to what it says as Moses replies in Numbers 32 verse 6, And Moses said to the children of Gad and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brethren go to war while you sit here? So you're going to send the rest of us across in to fight these people in Cana and you're going to stay over here? He said, uh, now, why will you choose to discourage the heart of the children of Israel from going over into the land which the Lord has given them? See, he knows just like the 40 years ago when the 10 spies says, oh, there's giants, we'll never be able to do it. That if these two, Reuben and Gad, say we want to stay here, that the rest perhaps will be discouraged and not want to go in to the land. The tribe of Reuben and Gad, they don't want to go in. It's actually where we get the term Gadara. Maybe that sounds familiar to you. It was the place where, well, where Hebrews ended up raising pigs instead of cows, instead of sheep. It's the place where the people in Gadara said to Jesus, we want you to go away. And this is the, the group that settled in that area. And here's the thing, as they even though they went to battle with them, but then resided on the other side of the Jordan, they established a lifestyle, a commitment that was kind of half-hearted. And that's the result of that kind of commitment is they ended up far away from the practices and the principles of the rest of the nation. It's kind of like the people who say, well, I don't want to go really far with the Lord. I want to be saved. I want to go to heaven but I don't want to make a real strong commitment. I really don't want to serve the Lord every day. I, I just want to kind of be comfortable. And that was the mindset of Reuben and Gad. We're comfortable over here. Let the rest of the people go and, you know, sort of conquer the land and fight the battle. And there's a lot of Christians who, if not careful, kind of take that attitude. Well, we're comfortable just hanging out, doing our thing. Let the rest of the people serve in the church. Let the rest of the people give. Let the rest of the people do their thing. But I'm comfortable here. That's what's kind of happening in Numbers chapter 32. Choosing a place of comfort instead of a lifestyle of commitment. And Numbers 32 sort of unravels that picture for us. And Moses deals with them even though they go and fight, which that's one thing he required them to do. They did settle in a place of comfort rather than being committed to what the rest of Israel did. And so the warning, the principle for us is choose commitment, not comfort.